Hello and welcome to this Tech Tips video from Learn Electrics. People ask, what is the difference between a Selv circuit and a Pelv circuit? And indeed, what is Selv and Pelv? So let's begin. Shown here is a typical Selv or SELV transformer. Many of you will have installed these and we know that if we put 230 volts in, we get 12 volts out. But what is actually happening on the inside and why? We will start simple to begin with. We have the plastic case which houses the transformer. One cable contains the primary leads or conductors. Primary is what we call the input or 230 volt side. And another pair of conductors that make up the secondary or output side which is 12 volts in this case. Sometimes there will be no leads provided, just empty terminal blocks. Make sure that you know and recognise the difference between primary and secondary before making connections. SELV stands for Separated Extra Low Voltage. PELV are the initials for protected extra low voltage. And these will be explained very shortly. Let's look now very briefly and very simply at what makes a transformer. We've shown here one type of construction called a TU transformer because the metal laminations of the transformer look like the letters T and U. There are two coils of very thin wire wound onto plastic bobbins, the primary winding and the secondary winding. They are formed onto plastic bobbins so that they can maintain electrical separation from the metal laminations. The bobbins and the laminations fit together and make our transformer. The completed assembly looks like this, with a 230 volt input winding and a 12 volt output winding. As the output is less than the input, we call this a step down transformer. The voltage has been stepped down from 230 volts to 12 volts. This function is achieved by having less turns of wire on the secondary or output side. Just as an example, if we had 10,000 turns on the primary and only 1,000 on the secondary, this is a ratio of 10 to 1. So the output voltage would be just one tenth of the input voltage. So with 230 volts input, one tenth of this is 23 volts output. This slide shows a typical schematic of a Selv transformer. The two windings are shown along with the metal laminations between them. There is the primary 230 volt input side and this particular transformer has an earth connection to the primary winding. Some SELV transformers will not have the earth connection. You'll often know this because the power cable has only two conductors, line and neutral. There is no earth conductor provided. And there should be a double insulation logo on the casing, a square within a square. For now, we will stick with a transformer that has a primary earth connection. We also have the secondary or output side at 12 volts in our case. Notice there is no earth reference on the secondary side. With no earth on the secondary side, a single fault on the 12 volt side does not have an earth return path and therefore you should not receive an electric shock from the secondary side. Because there is no earth return path back to the secondary winding, this is where the term separated comes in. The extra low voltage side is separated from the earth. The voltage output could be anything in the extra low voltage range, 5 volts if it is a charger for mobile telephones, 12 volts, 24 volts and so on. The ELV range is from 0 to 50 volts AC or 0 to 120 volts DC. Some ELV transformers will have a regulator circuit inside the casing that smooths the AC voltage 
to a regulated DC output. LED lighting being just one example. If you are unfamiliar with ELV and LV voltages, we have produced a video called Extra Low Voltage and Low Voltage that you can view on our Learn Electrics YouTube channel. And we will leave a link to it in the description. SELV transformers are generally suitable to supply voltage to lighting and appliances in the restricted zones of bathrooms. The transformer itself must be installed outside the zones. Let's move on to PELV or PELV circuits. This stands for protected extra low voltage. And the transformer schematic looks very similar to the CELV circuit. There is a primary input side and a secondary output side. The same rules apply for extra low voltage on the output, a maximum of 50 volts AC or 120 volts DC. But here is the big difference between the two types. With the PELV transformer, the secondary side is also earthed. Both primary and secondary windings are earthed to the same point. This is why it is called protected extra low voltage. There is a protective earth on both windings, protected. Because the secondary side has an earth connection, there is now the possibility that a single fault on the output side might give you an electric shock, as any fault current now has an earth path to travel along. But, as the voltage is limited to ELV values, any shock should be minimal and survivable. Lighting and appliances connected to PELV transformers are generally not suitable for installation in the restricted zones of bathrooms, etc., because of this earth connection. This little table shows the difference between CELV and PELV transformers, and they both have their own particular applications. In the examples we used, the primary side is at 230 volts for both types, and both types must also comply with the same extra low voltage requirements as shown. Some cell circuits will have an earth connection on the primary side, some will not. But cell will never, never have an earth to the secondary side. The secondary side is always separated from earth. PELV, PELV, on the other hand, will have an earth connection to the primary and secondary windings. This earth connection is the protected earth connection. We hope that you found this video from Learn Electrics both useful and enjoyable, and that you added more knowledge to your mental toolbox. Please click on the like button below. By clicking on subscribe, you will have access to all of our Tech Tips videos and you'll also ensure that you don't miss our next weekly video. Clicking on subscribe also helps us too. We do appreciate it and it does make all our effort worthwhile. Typing in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar will also give you access to all the videos. And there is a companion article to this video on our website that can be read at www.learnelectrics dot com. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.